It's Thursday, July 24th, 2014. I'm Justin Hunt. This is the DX Daily. Up first, during a recent interview with Time, Questlove defended Iggy Azalea and the addictive nature of her smash single, Fancy. He also shares his opinion on Australian Iggy rapping like T.I. Here's Quest. I'm caught in between and I defend it. You know, we as black people have to come to grips that hip hop is a contagious culture. If you love something, you gotta set it free. I will say that Fancy, above any song that I've ever heard or dealt with, is a game changer in the fact that we're truly going to have to come to grips with the fact that hip hop has spread its wings. I'm in the middle of the approximation of the enunciation, I'll say. Part of me hopes she grows out of that and says it with her regular dialect. I think that would be cooler. But yeah, Fancy is the song of the summer. Questlove also executive produced VH1's music show, Sound Clash. For more information, visit the site. All right, this was cool. In case you missed it, last week during the Ottawa Blues Festival, Action Bronson, during his performance, left the stage, headed to the nearest porta potty, walked in, walked out, and never stopped rapping the whole time. Yesterday, TMZ caught up with Action in New York City. Bronson took a moment to break down what actually happened in that porta potty. Here's Bronson. How did it feel seeing yourself on TMZ, man, rapping in a porta potty, dude? I feel good about that. Yeah. Man. I mean, I also stole a mother golf cart. Should have put that on there too. Yeah. Falling off, cuz. When asked how he plans to top porta pottying during a performance, Action said this I just have to become an international superstar and just shit on stage. Action man, you're late, dog. Daylight just did that last week during Total Slaughter, and he was wearing a spawn costume. Closing out, Nicki Minaj released the cover art to her upcoming single, Anaconda. I wonder what that song's about. <laughs> <laughs> the image features Minaj rocking Jordans and a G-string. She's also wearing a sports bra too. Look at that, definitely super Instagrammable. The image is reminiscent of Little Kim's promotional posters from her 1996 release, Hardcore, only in reverse. I'm not sure which angle is better. Anaconda will be available on July 28th. Nicki Minaj has also been promoting her next album, Pink Print, that project currently does not have a release date. Those are the day's top headlines. Let us know what you think about in the comments section. And as always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.